So, Chuck, I never give you a chance to ask me a question for one of our explainers. Anything been eating you lately? Schrodinger's cat. Oh, it, it dates back to Erwin Schrodinger. Erwin. Uh, uh, Schrodinger's cat relates a little bit to what people have called the observer effect. So it's unfortunate that somebody called it the observer effect because then new age folk and other people who were basically scientifically illiterate were thinking it's your consciousness that affects what you're observing. See, what you don't understand is that like particles <laughs> are totally alive. <laughs> All right. That light hits your face, bounces off your face, goes through the computing system, and I see you. Oh, we got oh, we got some good chocolate here. Right, don't write, don't write. Don't <laughs> write. Yeah. So uh, it's, instead of Chuck's solution, everyone could just wear white clothing, and that would be even better. Right. Let's get on to Schrodinger's cat. It's a superposition of those two states. The 